Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Cavani, Mbappe, and Neymar. Someone told me that you three could play. And could he play? Stevie I way on the wing. We had dreams and songs to sing for the glory and the fields of Anfield Road. Hello everybody and welcome to Coffada. I am your host Mark Dutton on a night when Liverpool rocked into Anfield to play Paris Saint-Germain. Bonjour to you in the Champions League first game. Oh my word. Let's get straight to the team news on what would be an unbelievable, monumentous night. Liverpool played Alisson in goal. Liverpool went with a back four. Trent, Alexander-Arnold on the right. Scottish international, Robinson on the left. We went with the monster, maybe the greatest centre-half that I've seen in my lifetime, in Virgil van Dijk, alongside Joey Gomez. As where, as where the dynamic would change a little bit. The captain, Jordan Henderson, the man I call the anchor, was back in the middle of the park to captain his troops. Vice captain, James Milner, alongside him. And did, 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 Jeannie well at him. Slotting in on the right side of the three. From three, again, we questioned their ability to fire as a unit. Mohamed Salah on the right, Sadie Mane on the left, and the return of the man, the legend. Daniel Sturridge playing up front because Bobby Firmino hurt his eye when that audible view from Spurs, dirty audible cheat, basically stuck his finger in his eye, ripped it, and take, tried to take his eyeball out. So Bobby was on the bench, Daniel Sturridge got his chance. So right from the whistle, very similar to the, the Spurs game at Wembley, Liverpool were on it. Combination plays, movements, Talk about Van Dijk as the first player. Oh my word. They need to count how many diagonal balls this man hit. He would get the ball in the middle of the defense and he would smash diagonal ball out to Trent. Smash diagonal ball out to Robinson. For whatever reason, whatever shape Paris Saint-Germain was set up, Neymar did not seem to want to defend at all. Mbappe did not want to defend at all. Cavani did not want to press at all. They were comfortable having Liverpool with the ball and Van Dijk had a field show. I mean, it was a masterclass. It was the execution of a lifetime from this Dutch legend. And I'm putting legend out there already because this is how good this man is. Just pinging balls left and right. Straight to chest, straight to thighs, straight to feet. Van Dijk was stellar. And we can talk about performances of individuals all day long, but I'm gonna blow the, I'm gonna blow the roof off of this team. I'm gonna blow it off, there's a secret. There's a secret that no Liverpool fan has talked about. And I've been thinking about it for the last couple of weeks, but I wanted to wait for a moment and just get the timing correct. Are you ready? There's a reason Jordan Henderson is playing out of his skin like he did tonight. There's a reason Georgie Wijnaldum is playing out of his skin and looks Unbelievable, like the second coming of Clarence Sador combined with Edgar Davids. There's a reason James Milner might be the greatest centre midfielder on the planet right now, and I am not exaggerating. He is phenomenal. 32 in the best form of his life. There's one reason behind it all. We had these players last season. Klopp played the same tactics. There's, there's not a magical, mystical situation that has occurred here. These players have not got 10 times over better overnight. That hasn't. You ready for the secret? The secret to all Liverpool's success this season, and I 100% guarantee it. You ready? Horrible German bag of crap, Emre Can. It's Emre Can. Emre Can basically played more minutes last season than any other Liverpool midfielder. He was big useless, slow, couldn't pass a ball five yards, couldn't dribble a ball five yards, turned like a school bus, <laughs> big vehicle reversing, <laughs> one of the worst players I have ever seen in a Liverpool shirt every single game until that big Butte got injured. I'm like this, why is Emre Chan on the pitch? 
I have no clue. Was it a punishment for not signing a contract? Was he even offered a contract? I don't know. But Klopp played Emre Chan until his legs fell apart. Maybe he wanted Emre Chan to explode on the field. It would have been better than the situation we had. So I'm telling you right now, nobody in the media have talked about it. Nobody else in YouTube land has mentioned it one time. The reason this Liverpool midfielder is firing on all cylinders is because that useless butte is no longer in this team. End of. That's it. Got the big hammer. Boom. Hit the nail on the head. That's it. Milner's on fire. Wijnaldum's on fire. We brought back Jordan Henderson last night. Oh my God. He put on a tackling masterclass. You, everyone's saying Jordan Henderson can't play as this defensive sentiment. It's not in his game. It's not in his DNA. Oh my God. Last night it was. The amount of insanely, brilliantly timed tackles this man put in as the captain of this team, showing pride, screaming, yelling, and organising. He knows, like the rest of this team now, like Ronaldo, like Milner, they need to raise their game. Because again, show is your bench last night. You've got the likes of Shakiri on there. You've got the likes of Bobby. You've got the likes of Fabinho making his debut last night. My God, show is your bench. And it just, it just got better and better and better. There was not a bad player on that. And when a game is tight, when a game needs to be changed, we can bring on top players now to change that game. And it was evident last night. So, how did the game pan out? We played so well for 20 minutes. We played so well. Again, Allison has been very redundant. Liverpool's defending. Joe, Joe Gomez has been awesome. The back four, again, tight, organised. When Mbappe had broke through, when Neymar had broke through, Liverpool were making the tackles. And then... Everything just went down the outside. Like I said, Van Dijk had the ability to just ping diagonal balls all game long, and we just kept getting down the outside, putting dangerous crosses into the box. Um, we get our rewards. Ball out to the right. Trent whips in a fantastic cross right to the back post. It goes through everybody. Falls back to the left side. Ball comes in, and you've got to watch Daniel Sturridge's movement for the goal. It is so good. Two centre-halves on the six-yard box. Daniel Sturridge is behind... He sneaks in between Silva and he gets up like a English beautiful salmon and a boom! And the goalie just goes, oh well. And it's a goal. Oh well. Let's talk real quick about that horrible beauty of a goalkeeper. When you walk onto that Anfield pitch and that cop stands up for you being an opposing goalkeeper and they applaud you and that entire cop applauds you, you better throw a little applause back, you horrible, nasty beauty. Get told. Visiting goalkeepers. A little applause will go down well with that cop showing you respect. So please, a little clap back would be nice. So anyway, that you didn't do that at the start of the game. So Liverpool score. And then three minutes later, when we're all on this high, we're out playing Paris Saint-Germain. No question. We are much the better team. And I'm not going to say that Paris Saint-Germain are misfiring like that beaut Adrian Duran said on TalkSport last night. Oh, a very below par Paris Saint-Germain. No, it wasn't a very below par Paris Saint-Germain who haven't lost a game yet this season. It was a fantastic Liverpool side that dismantled this Paris Saint-Germain team to go, not one goal, but two goals. Cop for that, you horrible French buttes. Two nothing, Liverpool go. We get a penalty. Ronaldo slaloms into the box on the right side. He's clipped, he goes down. Referee points to the spot. Penalty kick, who steps up? The legend. The vice captain slash captain, James Milner. We know he's, he's going to whack it in the bottom corner. Precision, perfection, right in the keeper's left. James Milner's right. Puts it in the bottom corner to go. Liverpool, two. Audible Paris Saint-Germain, zero. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic scenes. So, Paris Saint-Germain get a very fortunate, very lucky goal in the second half. And it, and it comes quite... It comes I would say around 70 minutes. Cross comes in. For me, Trent goes out to the right, and he's he looks he looks he's having an uncomfortable time. Paris Saint Germain are kind of getting back into the game a little bit, but Liverpool are still dominating for me. And he goes out with Cavani, and Cavani kind of pushes him off. And for me, it's probably a foul, but they they recycle it. They win the ball back when Trent really needed to be stronger in that situation. Uh, definitely not knocking him because he had a brilliant game, but. The cross comes back into the box, and Cavani's offside behind Van Dijk, goes for an over a kick. So he's trying to play the ball, very similar to the goal that was disallowed for Liverpool against Tottenham, where Mane goes for the ball. It should, the flag should have been raised. So, 
the ball breaks to the back post and it's volleyed straight into the goal. It like hits Robinson unluckily and it goes right to him and it's a goal. So it's two to one. So then, again, I, I'm not worried about this game because Liverpool are playing so well. We are on the front foot constantly. We look awesome. And then all of a sudden, there's a, there's a mix-up where we, we're defending a, a set play. Ball comes in. It breaks the Salah. We've got four players on, on the park now. We've made a substitution at this point. Daniel Sturridge, who was friggin' brilliant. I mean, he, for me, he had one of his best games I've seen for a long time. He was awesome. And again, hungry to stay in the team. Gets his goal. Should have scored two. Maybe could have could have created a third. We basically have a situation where the ball breaks to Sturridge. He takes a bad first touch, and he goes in with the goal. He hits him in the in in like the midsection, but it's not enough for me to give a foul. And Salah pokes it in. Liverpool celebrates. So it's Liverpool three, Paris Saint Germain one. But then the the, the stupid referee with the stick. Uh, I've got nothing but a spatula. I'm just going to wave it. Referee, referee. He disallows. He disallows the goal. Hold on, good time to get me me cup of coffee. Oh, I'll have to sit back down here. That's a nice one. Morning, everybody. So yeah, he disallows the goal. While he disallows the goal, the goalie's rolling around like he's he's been broken. He's fine. He gets right back up. So Liverpool for me should have went three, one up. Um, now the next goal is pivotal, and it comes. Like I said, Liverpool defending a set play. Ball comes out. Salah's got it, acres of space, can run it into the corner for whatever reason. With five minutes left in the game, he, he tries to play a pass into Bobby Firmino, and it's it's poor. And I don't know what's going on with Salah. He, he's having a bad time. But Liverpool are playing so well as a group that we can carry him. But he should have been he should have been pulled probably on 65, and Shaqiri should have been unleashed. We should have got Ram Man on the field. So we give the ball away. Neymar breaks with speed at our defence. Van Dijk gets a weak foot on the ball because he cuts in on his right. It falls to Mbappe and Mbappe just boom. He runs off with this celebration, sliding on his knees to the lower can of Dagalish, left side of the cup. And he's walking around like Mr. Big. Look at me, just won the World Cup. He's doing the whole Frank LaBeouf, I just won the World Cup, that he said in every interview for like the next 10 years when he won it with France. So Mbappe, big time. Is like, look at me, look at me. Anyway, icing on the cake. Icing on that cake. When you bring on a player like Bobby Firmino, you expect to get something. Now, the only thing about Bobby Firmino is, no matter what happens, when he comes off the bench, it takes him 20 minutes to get into the game. Well, luckily enough, he's got 20 minutes to get into the game. We're, we're attacking a corner. 91st minute of 93. 91st, ball comes in. It's cleared by Paris Saint-Germain. Now you're thinking, if this is Liverpool, we're off to the races. Mbappe gets it. Now if you're thinking Salah, Salah's off. Mbappe gets it, he tries to accelerate. Guess who tackles him? The legend, the man of the moment right now. Like I said, the greatest centre midfield player in the world, in my opinion, right now, James Milner. Wins the ball, knocks it out to the corner of the 18 where Bobby Firmino picks it up. Bobby Firmino fakes to go inside to shoot with his left. He cuts back to his right. Very similar to Barnes, Rush, Barnes, still John Barnes. Collymore closing in. Liverpool have won it in stoppage time. Bobby Firmino, right foot, rocket, through a crowd of players, diagonal, straight into the bottom corner. Runs off. Oh, my eye, I can't see nothing. He, I don't know what it is with Bobby and his super white teeth, but he always wants to take his kit off. He always wants to take his kit off. He's going to take his shirt off, and he goes, nah, I'm just going to put my hand over my eye. So he runs off. Does that you can't see me, my eyes are in celebration, and he gets the goal that eventually wins us the game, and it is nothing but what we deserve. End the story. We were better than Paris Saint Germain, supposedly one of the greatest teams in the world, with arguably the greatest from free in world football. Probably bar none. They're as good as ours, they're as good as Lionel Messi, who put on a clinic yesterday, by the way. If anyone saw Barcelona yesterday, Messi, oh my god. My God. So you've got those collections of from threes and they're all similar in relation to par, stature and ability. Listen, we win the game. We deserve to win the game. But I don't know how many red Zeds dropped when they equalized. Because you know what? It was the biggest kick in the teeth I can remember. Looking back at the Champions League final when Salah went up, how gutted we were. It was that bad because we played so well. And we haven't played the best this season. But when we give a performance like last night, when we give a performance like we did against Spurs, oh my God, 
it's incredible. And I'll say it one more time, the secret, in my opinion, to Liverpool's success is we haven't got that horrible, useless German beaut, Emre Chan. Emre, how are you getting on at Juventus, brother? No one cares because you're crap. No one cares because no one's giving you a second thought. Coutinho, no one's giving you a second thought. Anybody that leaves this team, we don't care. We don't give you a second thought. Klopp will bring in the next guy, and the next guy, and the next guy. And has he done anything different this season? No. He's used the same guys that he had last year. He just didn't have Emre useless Chan in the middle of that park, destroying it with his negative energy. And again, learn something from this Liverpool. Don't play a player who is running down his contract. He doesn't want to be there no more. Soon as that happened, as soon as I came out in the press, Emre, I'm sorry, you're getting bombed off into the reserves. Go play with the kids. Enjoy the rest of your contract. Sit on that. Ah, well. We probably didn't have the luxury of doing that last year because our squad wasn't good enough. So, that's it. The secret is Emre Chan not being in the team. This team is on fire. It's only going to get better. It's a great time to be a Red. It's a great time to be a Liverpool supporter anywhere around the world. I am in New Jersey, USA from Morton, UK. This has been Cop For That. Throw a like on the video. Like me on Facebook, Cop For That on Facebook. The page is right there. All Liverpool related game day news and analysis right after the game. Again, I've been Mark Dutton. This has been Cop For That. On a night, on a historic night at Anfield. The great Bill Shankly. The Shanks, right there. One of the greatest managers in the world. I want to build up a bastion of invincibility so everybody will have to submit. Give in, give in, give in. Liverpool have played six games. We've won six out of six. Our journey playing some of the greatest teams in the world has begun. We beat Tottenham, we beat Paris Saint-Germain. Southampton, you are quaking in your boots. Have a fantastic day, Reds, all around the world. You'll never walk alone. ta -ra for now. Terra. Terra. And you never walk alone.